Guten Morgen, meine allerliebsten Freunde. Herzlich willkommen zurück hier auf unserem Kanal auf YouTube. Welt zur Musik. Musik. Welcome, Welcome back, back, guys. Das ist Wolf und Channel. All about music. And say hi to Dana, please. Hi, guys. That's her. <laughs> guys. That's me. Uh, we're going to check out a super new video, but... Uh, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, it's the comeback. First of all, we need to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. You will uh, see more about that later. But let's get right into the video from Shiny. Don't call me. Are you excited? It's uh, actually, yes. actually in the German YouTube trends. Yes, it is. That got me really excited. Yeah, very nice. So let's get in right into it. Subtitles, yeah. What's with his hair? Did you see that? What do you mean? You'll see it later. Whoa! <laughs> What's with his hair? Fellows. Check this out, y'all. I don't want you back, don't call me. I keep saying next time and I'm saying your life. Keep pushing, but keep it high, yeah. Baby, you know, it's your calling. Different is the right it's word. It's a different song. <laughs> but 
I kind of enjoyed it, but somehow it was very different to me. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it really is different. Unique. I did not expect this. But why Some is it different? Because of the I lyrics or the production, the sound? The sound and the production. I I don't know, there were some parts that were super... Like you just got them. This part. This was really nice. I really like this one. The mm -hmm. second part of the hook with the... Like, I don't know if it were vocal chops with the... Doom, 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 doom. Mm -hmm. But then there were like super disharmonic parts against super harmonic parts i don't know it, it was all over the place for me mm. but it was very very interesting <laughs> it's not boring at all um is it no really i feel uh, like there's so much to explore <sighs> This is a hard one for me, actually. Um, at the beginning, I thought, okay, um, this is quite different, as, mm -hmm. as you mentioned already, um, because of the the sample they use. So on the left, you can hear something like, it, it sounds like a broken piano or something. And, that direction. I don't want you back, don't call me. Something or uh, some recorder stuff, something. Um, and you have this, uh, yeah, repetition of the line. Um, and I guess that the sample we hear here playing all the time in the background, which is the main melodic mm -hmm. part of the... Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, <laughs> I just want to know what you in think. In the song... Oh, you want to know what I'm thinking. What about... Okay. Uh, no, um, it's... It, yeah, it's... This is different. This is pretty cool. Actually, it rem reminded me of a song from uh, um, Lil Wayne. Uh, it goes into the direction from the beat uh, Amelie, Amelie, Millie, Millie, Danny, Danny, Danny. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because this oh. was a vocal chop as well, which they flip very, very oh, nicely. Uh, what was that? Amelie, it was a song from Neo, I think, mm. or something. Or Neo did a remix on it or something, yeah. So it rem reminded me in the, from the production yeah. value or direction, it it went into that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a copy of that or something. But yeah. Yeah, so there are actually not a lot of instruments. It's only this sample sound mm -hmm. and then you have the drums, which is quite common in the hip hop music uh, these days that you use a sample and just uh, put some drums on it so-called 808 drums from the 808 mm -hmm. drum, mach drum machine um, pretty nice um, sound wise I have to say um, from from the mixing and the mastering here in the verse it's uh, still okay nice flip here so they just uh, changed the pitch of the sample mm -hmm. sound back to the lower pitch and then comes uh, something very warm very pleasing of mm -hmm. course here which is which is very nice nice actually the mm -hmm. pre-chorus uh, because because here you have different instruments playing uh, really really nice uh, harmonics uh, harmonies sorry nice synth pad Very nice. And, and now happens something I I maybe you notice it while watching the video while while this uh, part was on uh, with my facial expression that something is wrong. 
but uh, what it is, I'll tell you after the sponsor today. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including music production, singing, songwriting, dancing, photography and more. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. For me, all classes about music are the most interesting, especially the classes from Grammy-nominated DJ and audio engineer Young Guru who has already worked with top artists like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Drake and many many more. With his class Learn How to Mix Music with Young Guru, you will get a pretty neat understanding of these important steps in music production. When you are a long time viewer of my videos, you already know how often I rage about the importance of mixing and mastering in music production. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And guess what guys? The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free premium membership so you can explore your creativity and learn new skills. So guys, uh, thank you for uh, watching the sponsor and check out the link down in the description. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video again. Okay, so now comes the part that got me quite, uh, I don't know, uh, quite nervous actually, mm. <laughs> the, the chorus. So for me using headphones right now, I mean, it, you wouldn't notice if you're listening on, on, on let's say a stereo. Speakers? Yeah, just a stereo or with stereo speakers. Um, you would notice, but with headphones on, uh, you'll notice that there's a st strange uh, feeling of pressure or something on your ears. Didn't you notice, or didn't you have the experience? I like this part. Because I love their melody, but then also the beat and with the vocal chop. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the beat or the vocals or uh, that. That all mm. is, uh, as you said, is t totally fine. Uh, or actually, so it's v very good. So but don't you notice that it's not pumping anymore? You you True. don't. It's it's not it's not not moving your body actually mm. you it should it sounds like it should but it doesn't right 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 that's the problem mm. i have with this part actually just a sec with the second part of the chorus you can really notice that that it should really break your neck while while bouncing to yeah. it or something like that yeah but it's not doing that actually it's it's a kind of it sounds like it's killing itself with the frequencies and i have no clue why um actually i have a clue why but um just listen uh, to it uh, for one more time or before it goes into there's no bass there's no pump at all i know yeah I'm there's the bass. The kick. Oh dang! I think it's. Uh, it's. I think. I guess, guys. Uh, I. I. I just have the possibility to guess. Uh, at the end, I guess that it's uh, compressed and uh, limited way too hard, so that. Uh, yeah, those effects between, let's say, the kick, bass drum, and the sub bass and bass. Because when you don't listen to it um, very carefully, you will not even really notice that there's a bass or sub bass in it, right? Do you even hear a real bass I or didn't. a kick kick drum? I didn't know. Yeah, because no. the kick, kick drum is uh, totally over compressed oh, yeah. and it's super mushy uh, in itself, the m musical part. The vocals are still very upfront. You can still mm -hmm. hear them very nicely, but.
but the rest is just too yeah too mushed up um and not not really giving it to the listener mm -hmm. i have the feeling so uh, they tried to make it really bounce but on the way to make it bounce they lost it <laughs> It's pretty sad actually because uh, overall, as you said, the, the the beat is totally my style. Uh, the vocals and everything pretty pretty nice, but um, the last part of the uh, production, the mixing and the mastering. So the po let's say you can call it the post production. Um, there went something wrong, in my opinion. Uh, you can, of course, uh, think different. Um, I'm, I'm always uh, empowering people to think different. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, listen to it one more time with the, what I'm saying, uh, maybe even on the headphones. It doesn't matter if the headphones are uh, super expensive or not, or on your stereo, um, because yeah, it's it's something you can not, not hear actually, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's something I noticed. But uh, I have to say uh, that the very rep repetitive style, um, I thought it would get boring, but then they changed it up very, very yeah. nice. That was pretty that nice. That was really good. Yeah, that was awesome because uh, they put, did put in a modulation, so they changed the key of the song. Um, and it's not common to do that with beats like that to change mm. the key actually so that is something i've never heard before in yeah productions like that and uh yeah that was super nice that was s s somewhere here right yeah the c part i believe and the vocals his vocals especially when he went higher and higher yeah Oh, this was the C part. Pokemon. <laughs> that was, of course, nice because of the ha harmonies again. Yeah. yeah, super nice. I think it was it here. Also with the, the piano. Yeah, with the piano. Yeah. Ooh, that was so good. What about the styles? You didn't say anything about Sorry, the styles. Oh. Yeah, just the yeah. modulation. They transposed the whole thing. Yeah. That's a, yeah, that's an amazing change. Nice. And you know what? Maybe it's a minor thing, but I really enjoyed that they have um, a mixed uh, group of dancers. Oh. Oh, I thought that as well. Really? That they had um, male and female, right? Yeah, that re I really enjoyed that as well. Because oftentimes they j oftentimes just choose uh, yeah. one gender. So, yeah. Pretty amazing. But it would be interesting to hear that one in a way. I'd like to have it mixed and mastered. Maybe it's uh, better on, on, on the streaming platforms like uh, Spotify. Yeah, or let's Apple check Music. it out. Yeah, we need to check Maybe. it out. Um, later guys thank you so so much for watching this video write your thoughts of course into the yes. comments did you like it what did you think <laughs> and uh, yeah it's uh, very different for shiny right i think so yeah kind of the style I think so. and also we didn't talk about the lyrics it was uh, quite interesting to hear them uh, talk in a don't kind of negative way, right? Don't. To say, don't call me, uh, I don't like you anymore, and if you love me, leave me alone. It's, <laughs> it's just something... That sounds very Let me very go, harsh. he said, let me go. If you love me, let me go. Yeah, that sounds very <laughs> harsh. I mean, actually, it's part of reality. It, it, can, be, it can be like that, so... Why not? Guys, check out Dana's channel as well, and don't forget to subscribe to this one, and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.